You want to know what's the problem? Y'all forgot where y'all coming from. Some of y'all forget where y'all came from. Y'all want to cover up the real you wearing all this stuff. And some, some people feel like because they went to college, they better than other people. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Most people that went and got a degree ain't even using their degree. They still working on these little, little jobs that only get paid minimum wage. Like, that doesn't mean anything. That does not define you. That does not mean that you're better than anybody. And the main reason is people covering up the real them. Because they're trying to impress other people. That's not okay. You got to impress yourself and be happy. What I'm going to do, I, I'm, I'm just tired of all the shenanigans. I'm about to snatch my lash off. And I'm going to be proud to be the real me without my lashes. <laughs> Y'all can judge me. Get mad with me. Say what you want to say. Because what I all do is let me take my earrings out. I'm taking them out. This is me. Let me take my um headband off also. I can't take the weave out. Not right now. I just got done. But without all this stuff, who am I? Do I look like the sun? That little emoji y'all be making jokes about. Who cares? Because I'm not here to impress nobody. I'm on here to be myself. Some of y'all just get so caught up in the worldly stuff and so caught up in everybody else crap. Be yourself and be happy and be grateful that you're able to do what you're doing. Some people is unable to work some people is unable to do things that you guys able to do and that's what i'm trying to prove a point to y'all stop trying to be other people stop trying to be somebody else if this is not you that is not you be yourself see i can't say it's society got people like this i can't say the celebrities got people like this Everybody copying, trending things and trying to be like other people and forgetting where they came from. Forgetting the real them. It's okay that you can wear lashes and lip gloss and put weave in your head and put on different outfits and stuff. It's okay you can do that. I'm not saying don't do that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying just remember you. Remember the real you. That's what I'm trying to say. It's okay to wear your headbands and your hats and your lashes and your makeup and your lip glosses and stuff. It's okay, but just remember who you are. Don't get caught up in this mess. Do not get caught up in being something you're not. I know y'all laughing at me because I'm laughing. My eyelashes are so freaking thin. I got a pimple for being out pretty much all day. I need to wash my face. But I said, let me get on here and snatch off these lashes and let people know I don't care because that's the lashes is not me. The real me is this, which y'all see now. I love uh, my tools. I love jewelry. I love my jewelry. That's not a problem. But once I take that out, I'm still me. Even with this, I'm still me. Let me take this off. This stuff don't define me. And that's what I'm trying to say. It's okay to wear all this fancy stuff. It's okay. And I don't mind taking this off either. I love my jewelry. I love it. But that does not determine who I am. And if y'all don't understand what I'm trying to say, materialistic things is not what it is. It's okay to like these things, but loving these things and dwelling on these things and thinking you can't live without these things, that's an issue. That is a serious 
issue that you need to find and resolve for yourself. You know, some of us are forgetting that we're human. We are human where we're going to make mistakes. We're going to want to be this way and want to be that way and want better and want this and want that. You're going to want these things and need these things and feel the way you feel. But you can't keep beating yourself up because you don't have these things. It just gives you that big push to be motivated and to strive harder. Some of y'all is so high right now where y'all need to calm down. Calm down low. Come low. Come to reality. Y'all too used to being up here and sometimes you stumble and come down. You got to be where you at and where you stand. Stop trying to please everybody. Calm down, baby. Calm down. Some of y'all just need to calm, breathe, and woosa. And take a deep breath and just know you is the stuff. You is the junk. So don't worry about trying to be something else. Stop beating yourself up. Stop stressing. Stop worrying about things you cannot control. If you're understanding what I'm saying, let me know in the comment section. Stop pretending to be something you are not. Listen, my edge is not even on fleek because I don't care. I just came home and got on the camera and say, listen, I need to get on here and talk to these people a little bit. A little bit. I have no shame. No shame and I'm not shy and I'm not worried. I'm not scared. None of the above. Because I'm here to help some people that needs to be helped. If you don't want help, how can somebody help you? All I can do is give you encouragement. Give you some encouraging words and see where you take it. See where it led you. I'm not trying to make you. I'm not trying to make y'all do anything y'all do not want to do. But I do want y'all to know that whatever ain't meant to be, it's not going to be. It don't matter how hard you try. And another thing, um, take this as a warning sign. Say, for an example, you're trying to go somewhere so very bad, but then it's a lot of stuff just throwing at you, a lot of stuff stopping you, but you just want to go so bad where you just ignoring those signs and then boom, you go somewhere and look what happened. Something happened. You get caught up in some mess that you weren't even supposed to be in. Learn the signs and understand the signs and the warnings. Stop ignoring it. Sometimes we can want something so bad and it's just not meant for us. God get us signs and he shows us things. And we be saying God don't show us this and God don't show us that. But he be showing us. And we just been stubborn and hard-headed and just want to ignore it and be in denial about the signs that we see. If it's not meant for you to go over there across that hall and mess with them people, mess with some, it's not meant to be. Look at that as a sign and stay behind right where you at. I don't care about you talking about you're bored. Oh, you don't live this life. Oh, you too young to sit in the house. Sit you behind in the house sometimes. That's what you need to do. Stay home. Calm down on your little high horse and get back into reality. Come back. Come, calm down. Calm down. Shh. I hear it. Shh. I'm telling y'all something. Forget about what people think about you. Realize that you is everything. You is beautiful inside and out. Even me with this little piece of hair, don't even want to go straight no more. It's all rolled up because it's hot. My hair balled up and stuff. Just know it does not matter. Hair does not determine how your heart is on the inside. That's what I'm trying to get to y'all. Just be you. Be beautiful and smile. Be beautiful and just know that everything is going to be okay. A lot of us is not where we want to be. We have trades. We have degrees. We have education. We have diplomas. We have all that good stuff. 
bachelors. We have everything that a lot of people desire, but we don't use these things. I feel like it's really a waste of time if you go going to school for all this stuff and then you sit back years later and don't use it. You don't do nothing with yourself. You just spend all this time going back to school after you graduate and then do what? To still sit on some out of minimum wage job getting paid under $14 an hour or whatever the amount you getting paid. Like, it is worthless. Like, I get it. I know you got to do something. You got to do what you got to do to pay your bills. High rate of living and providing for you and your family. I get it. You got to do what you got to do. But at the end of the day, make it make sense. I pretty much relate to people by what I've been through and I look at other people's situation. That's why I'm able to speak on how I feel about not just, I'm not telling y'all to not go to school and get a degree or whatever. I just feel like it's a waste of time. And I sit here and look at a lot of people just wasting life and just have the potential and just smart and intelligent and willing and able to do something with yourself like it don't even have to be you to what i am talking the way i'm talking it could be anything it could be doing hair makeup it could be designing it could be selling stuff and products and whatever your heart desire you can do it. You don't have to have a degree to do that. It's a lot of stuff that is not even required having a degree. See, my tongue is so tired. But it don't even require having those kind of, you know, certificates and stuff. And, you know, you waste all your time doing this stuff. And then you sit back after doing stuff for between 5 and 10 years or whatever. And then you look back like, I don't even want to do that no more. It was a waste of your time, a waste of your life, a waste of your energy, a waste of everything you can offer. I'm, I'm speaking to someone. I'm not trying to be negativity about anything. I'm just trying to speak facts. Don't waste your time on something you're not even sure you want to do. People keep telling me, oh, get in the medical field. No, I don't like blood. I don't like you know doing what the doctors do i will be sensitive to these things where you know i can't see a lot of stuff so that's just not me if it suits you you do that you stay in the medical field like everything is different for everybody everything you do they do is not for everybody it's not for me i do what's best for me so ooh, but it was just me using an example saying, be you, be yourself. You don't have to wear all this stuff. I mean, it is enhance your beauty. It enhance your look. It give you the look you want. But behind all that stuff, you still got to remember who you are. This is me. And remember, when you take off all your makeup and lashes and stuff, that is you. The person you looking at right now in the mirror or whatever, that is you. Don't nobody care about you being cool. Don't nobody care about you just trying to, you know, do everything to please people. Don't nobody care about no degrees, careers, nothing. Not even your content. People don't care about that. People care about what they care about. And that's just sad. That's just sad. Plain not sad. It's me. I'm going to embrace my beauty. Oh, I'm going to embrace me. I don't care. Keep your head up high. Keep doing what's best for you. Don't worry about what nobody got to say about you. Don't worry about what if and what they don't like and what's this and what's that. But YouTube, it don't matter. Just get up here. Like I said, it's not even all about just getting in front of the camera. Just know that you can do whatever best for you. Like I said, YouTube changed so much where people just think they got to be a celebrity to get on here where they got to be all oh, dressed up all the time they get on here i'm gonna be organic i'm gonna be natural and that's that it's gonna be some natural time i'm sorry i can't be y'all i can't be what everybody want me to be i can't keep dressing up all the time whenever something come to me i don't care how i look i'm gonna get up here and y'all that's gonna be me because that's gonna be the real me What's wrong with people now? People are so afraid to be them, being the real them. They're so scared. They always got to cover up them. Trust and believe. 
I'm not trying to be perfect no more. I'm not trying to pretend who I am for nobody anymore. I'm not trying to be over beautiful than what I am anymore. I'm just being me. I don't care who like it. I'm not here to impress nobody. I'm not here to dress a certain type of way to please other people because I'm going to be comfortable in the skin I'm wearing. I'm going to be comfortable in the clothes I wear, the hairdos I wear, the look when I don't want to have lashes on and lip gloss and all that fancy stuff. I'm going to just be me. I'm going to just rock the me. I'm going to rock me. I'm not going to rock the the mask, the person behind that mask, behind that makeup and stuff. I want people to know that this is me every day. This is how I look. I don't care if you like the look or not because I'm going to remain looking the same. I don't care if you call my head little, my face long, me barely got lashes on my, <laughs> my eyelash. I don't care. Yes, my edges is not where it used to be. I used to have thick edges but i'm not about to put on no fake edges to prove that i have edges or to make it look like i got edges this mean this is hard to grow back i don't know i don't know what to do but baby i'ma still rock my hairstyle call me what you want to call me i'm here to be me and not to please everybody and that's what, that's what y'all need to realize be you be grateful be thankful because i am very grateful for the person who i became People don't like it. A lot of people don't like it. They say, I hate the new you. Why would you like somebody to be used and abused? If you remember me, I used to cry and let people run over me and tell me what to do and change decisions for me and make decisions for me. Now where I'm at, you can't make not one decision for me. I hear your opinion. I hear you. And yes, it's count. But at the end of the day, I'm still going to make decision I want to make. I'm not worrying about how nobody feel about me. I'm not losing a sleep. The sleep I sleep every night, the food I eat, you don't buy it for me. So at the end of the day, I'm going to remain being the same. And that's what y'all need to understand. That's why I feel like YouTube has changed a lot. Like people worrying about fashion. People worrying about, oh, I got to get my nails and hair done in order to get on this platform. Oh, I got to dress like I'm a celebrity. Y'all let that crap fool y'all. Y'all looking in on the outside. Stop letting these people fool y'all. A lot of people don't even have it like that, but they make it seem like they have it just for the camera. Behind that camera is a bunch of chaos going on. Their life is like rocky. You don't know how a person's life is just 5 to 20 minutes to an hour on a video or whatever. That does not determine their life. But baby, I'm done with this video. I just want to encourage y'all. I want to encourage y'all and encourage y'all. Love you. Love the real you. I don't care what it is. I don't care if nobody ever like you the way that you like you. You need to be your own fan, your first fan, your biggest fan. You got to love yourself and understand that nobody can't be you and you can't be nobody else. I don't care how much makeup, how much you try to remake, remodel, remommy, me, re you, re this. I don't care what you try to do to yourself, but you're going to always be you. Nobody can take that place of you being you. If y'all understand what I'm saying in this video, y'all can relate to what I'm saying in this video, please let me know. Comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. And I am out. I love my look. I love my look. I love my look. Hey. See, y'all can see I don't even have on nothing fancy. Just a big red, bright red t-shirt. Because this is me. This is me. This is me. This is me. <laughs>